Bunny cartoon came along as a as a, just a uh, Daffy Duck in a in a rabbit suit, really. Got a hunting license? At first, Bugs just jumped around and woo wooed like an insane rabbit. But I haven't got one now. <laughs> Well, at the very beginning, Bugs didn't look anything like the Bugs Bunny of today. He had one thing in common, he had teeth, and uh, he had ears like a rabbit, but the, but the resemblance really kind of stopped there. Very shortly after that, why Tex Avery came up with the wild hair, and the wild hair was the, the first time that Bugs had come out, looked over Elmer's shoulder, taken a bite out of a carrot, and said, what's up, Doc? And that was the beginning of the, of the character. Like all of our characters, the drawings and the voice developed uh, over a period of years. Bugs Bunny's voice developed under the wise guidance of Mel Blanc. The reason I picked that voice was I had to have a tough voice, either Brooklyn or the Bronx. So I thought, why don't I put the two of them together, Doc? So that's how I got the voice of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> the most common questions I ask of a common director is, uh, you know, what does a director do? Does he order the drawings to move around? And in effect, that's exactly what he does do. The line test or pencil test was something that we used to determine whether or not the characters were performing correctly. Even with a talkative character like Bugs Bunny, we wanted to be certain that the action demonstrated what we're talking about. In other words, our characters were actors. I come down, down with the hat cape and a do da do da I go back home with a pocket full of candy, oh, do da day Go on around all night, go on around all day. But also, then you would act the scene out. And uh, so there, different directors were different in their, in their way of doing this. I, I tended to act the scene out, and, and I understood the dialogue of what Davy was saying pretty well. And Tex Avery was brilliant at this. Hello! Hello! stick with the characters who never lost them, I guess, is because I grew up with them. Uh, it, it's, it's like your own child. Our pictures were never made for, um, for children. Uh, they were never made for adults. They were made for us. Uh, I believe they're still alive. I always drew Bugs Bunny because I figured he's somewhere. And I'm drawing, just making him, drawing a picture of him. I was very fortunate because I worked both with Tex Avery and Chris Freeling, both of whom I consider the best short subjects of directors that ever lived. Frizz and Chuck, there's only one more thing that all of us can say, and that is thank you.